Hey, happy Friday to you and welcome to the Friday Funnies. Well, we're now at the midpoint of summer and I can finally fit into my bathing suit. I'll tell you right now, however, that is the last time I am going to buy a thong. Ew. And speaking of thongs, over in France today is Bastille Day, which they, uh, they celebrate the storming of the Bastille and the start of the French Revolution. It's a national holiday in France, but it's also celebrated in other countries looking for an excuse to drink wine. So after the storming of the Bastille, then the weather cleared up and the crowd decided to kill Marie Antoinette by making her eat cake until she exploded. Then Napoleon took over and he had a donut named after him. And now you know the history of Bastille Day. Meanwhile, in Antarctica this week, Antarctica where the motto is, is it cold here or is it just me? A large iceberg broke off of the Larsen ice shelf and is now floating aimlessly in the water. They say it's the size of Delaware, so I think that we should claim it and turn it into a resort. You know, Disney would surely be interested. It could be a frozen theme park. And since Walt's already in the cooler, they could move him to the new park as an exhibit. Huh? Well, enough pointless comments. Time to take a look at even more pointless news events that happened this week. <laughs> I don't know that much about China, but apparently they are facing a toilet paper shortage in the public restrooms. It seems that the patrons of those restrooms are using too much paper. So the government decided to step in. In the city of Fuzhou, or Fuzhou, I, I really don't know how to pronounce it. If you're from Fuzhou, please let me know. Anyhow, there the public toilets were outfitted with locked toilet paper dispensing machines and the machines use facial recognition to recognize you and provide you with exactly 27 and one half inches of paper. Now, if you need more, you've got to wait nine minutes before the machine will allow you to get more paper. So here's a little tip for the traveler traveling to Fuzzhow on vacation. Pack your suitcase full of Charmin. What you don't use, you can sell for a profit like cigarettes in prison. Few states can rival Florida for the amount of jamokes per capita. This week, you know, Rick Myers of Titusville was arrested for picking psilocybin mushrooms in a state wildlife area. Now these are magic mushrooms, the kind of mushrooms that send you on a trip without a passport. When the police arrested him, they also found a two-foot-long alligator in his backpack. Meyer said he found the gator by the shrooms, man, and figured it was a sign of something, so he put it in his backpack for good luck. Apparently, that didn't work out so well. Rick and three of his friends were arrested and taken to jail. The alligator was released back into the wild, but has been showing up every day looking for more mushrooms. In Muskogee, Oklahoma, USA, Brandon Thomas was arrested by police on six felony warrants. They caught up with him at an Independence Day party, which also happened to be his birthday. Before he was led away, he asked the police if he could propose to his girlfriend. So the deputies recuffed his hands in front so he could kneel down, and he asked Leandria Keith to be his wife. She said yes, and he was carted off to jail. Later, Leandria bailed him out of jail and said that they're planning a wedding for three to five years from now, depending on good behavior. <laughs> hey, that's it for this week, my friends. Have an enjoyable weekend. Enjoy uh, the outside, the inside, whatever side you happen to prefer. And I will see you back here next Friday.